Something we've all observed in life is how things tend to go from being orderly to disorderly. Some are more predestined than others. Eggs break. A fresh pack of cards gets shuffled. A tidy room gets messier and messier. Remember the thermodynamics lesson from your physics class? Entropy, a measure of disorderliness, increases with time. It's a universal law that can be seen in action when stars explode and spread their debris all around. But surely, life's an exception to this because of the exquisite structure it exhibits. No, entropy must increase and energy disperse. So for any organism, such as humans, to maintain order internally, they must create greater disorder externally. To maintain its internal structure, organisms need constant repair, powered by energy from the sun, or by eating other organisms, which, by the way, generates its own waste. In short, life's an accelerator of entropy, transforming what's ordered and usable into what's disordered and unusable, an entropic wasteland. All life creates waste, but it took human evolution to push the boundaries. We evolved from a hunter-gatherer society, relying on the day's hunt, to an agricultural society, where beyond our immediate needs, we started cultivating a modest excess for the bad days ahead, producing entropy today for consumption tomorrow. Over time, we developed these production methods, producing way beyond our personal needs. And with it, our entropy grew faster than its natural pace. But our production systems were still limited by the physical constraints of how much grain we could store. Enter money. Unlike grain, there's no limit to how much money a person could store for the future. And because money acts as a proxy for stuff, to make more money, we create more stuff. Items whose production and consumption generates waste in the world. Our desire for an ever-expanding pile of money compels us to seek out low entropy resources like rainforests and fossil fuels. Destroy or consume them! And leave waste in their place. Today, our money isn't backed by precious metals, so there's no physical limit to how high it can go. It's simply a number in a bank's database. But that number's economic growth is tied to the growth of entropy in the world. The bigger it gets, the more waste is produced. We assume economic growth is good, but forget that nothing comes for free. The bigger our economy, the more waste we create, the more we all pay in the future. So the question we need to ask ourselves, is our thriving digital bank account worth the wasteland we leave in the real world?